So two of the questions we get asked most frequently are A, how often should I micro needle? And B, what is the best needle length? We've answered the first question in previous videos and today we'll be looking at the second one. What is the ideal length for micro needles? Now, the correct length will be a compromise between two competing needs. On the one hand, you need to make the needles long enough to maximize the therapeutic potential of your sessions. If you're using microneedling in conjunction with minoxidil, as most guys do, then you'll also want to make the holes large enough to maximize that absorption. But on the other hand, you want to keep the needles short enough so that they cause the minimum amount of damage necessary. Longer lengths will cause more redness, bleeding and swelling, and possibly increase the risk of infections and more serious complications. And of course, longer lengths will be more painful. To give you an idea, in the photo, you can see the effects of using different needle lengths on the skin of a pig. And this was done for the purpose of a scientific study. So from left to right, you can see how dramatically the redness and bleeding increases as you go from 0.5 millimeters all the way up to 2.5 millimeters. A classification that dermatologists have proposed classifies lengths from 0.25 to 0.5 as causing mild injury, 1 to 1.5 millimeters as moderate and two to 2.5 as deep. Now, to better answer the question, we'll need some quick background anatomy. The outermost layer of the skin, that which is visible to the eyes, is called the epidermis. This is a Greek word which literally means that which covers the skin. This superficial layer has no blood vessels and is passively nourished from the underlying dermis. So in Greek, dermis literally means skin, which tells you that this is where the real action happens. This is where the blood vessels pass and also where the follicles are rooted. So you want the needles to be sufficiently long so that they actually penetrate the epidermis and reach into the dermis. On the other hand, you don't want the needles to go too deep as they might start traumatizing those follicles. The derma rollers that you find on the market generally range between 0.25 and 2.5 millimeters. So we know that 0.25 is probably too small to sufficiently penetrate the epidermis. We also know that needles longer than 1.5 millimeter cause excessive damage and no studies will use them anyway. So the question is where exactly between 0.5 and 1.5 is that sweet spot for your scalp? Well, up until recently, we didn't have a direct test of this question, but this all changed a few months ago with the publication of this new study. The authors of this recent study recruited 45 men and women with androgenetic alopecia and treated them with six microneedling sessions over three months. The device that they used was an adjustable length derma pen and the participants were randomly allocated to be treated with one of these three lengths, 0 0.5, 1 and 1.5 millimeters. No minoxidil was used in the study. So this was just standalone microneedling. Three months after the last microneedling session, the participants were assessed for regrowth and all three needle lengths resulted in regrowth but the group treated with the 0.5 millimeter depth had the best results, followed by one millimeter. The 1.5 millimeter group came a distant third. And as you'd expect, the 0.5 millimeter group also reported the least pain. So a smaller needle length carries the day. So we can see from this study that the smaller needle length wins on all fronts. All this would seem to settle it. 0.5 millimeter derma rollers are the way to go, right? Well, not quite so fast. You see, the electrical derma pen used in the study pierces the skin vertically, meaning that more or less the full length of the needles penetrates into the skin. Another important consideration is that the downward motion of the needles comes from a small motor and is independent of the user. But the large majority of people who microneedle for hair loss use a derma roller. And here there are two factors that change those calculations. Firstly, due to the way the barrel of the derma roller rolls over the skin, 
The needles enter at an angle to the skin, not vertically. As well as another complicating factor is that many of the users don't roll the barrel hard enough, reducing the actual penetration of the needles into the skin a little bit further. When all is said and done, about 50 to 70% of the derm roller's needle length will penetrate into their skin. So if you're like most people and you use a derma roller, then a length of one millimeter is what you should be aiming for. This will be the closest approximation to a 0.5 millimeter derma pen. Speaking of one millimeter derma rollers, if you don't have one, I invite you to head over to hairguard.com and get yours today. Just cover the shipping and handling. Unlike the cheap and ineffective devices that have flooded the market, our derma roller uses 192 individual medical grade titanium needles optimized to regrow your hair. So if you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below, like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.